Yeah, good, good. Okay, let's uh, start this uh, global prayer meeting. We are praying uh, for global peace. Uh, okay. This is a global peace, Messiah second coming, global peace, ultimate global peace by 2027. And we have this 40 day fasting period, uh, fasting, <laughs> praying period. I was yeah. doing fasting now, but. <laughs> ah, yeah, the Ramzan, right? Uh, not, I just do my own fasting for peace. <laughs> okay, okay. We have this global initiative, like we invite all believers to, to not just make their own fasting, but uh, to make the fasting as for world peace as you see this global tribulations so we're okay. supposed to unite the efforts for peace <laughs> okay okay good good okay so let's start with the reading um, uh, a few quotes from the world scriptures uh, today okay. was about the society the bible teach about the nine fruits of the holy spirit love joy peace patience benevolence goodness loyalty gentleness and self-control these nine fruits of the spirit are the standards of the nation that god proposes and intends to establish they comprise uh, that society's way of life good citizenships that not does not appear automatically but arises out of the person's character and family it uh, flows from character heart and education through family life these are the basis for noble deeds uh, by which people can advance to the position of responsibility and enhance their country's prestige, build this foundation and become someone your country needs. If you do not build them, you may end up becoming a corrupt official. Peace and happiness depends on the people's moral and spiritual development. This is because a nation, even the world, is only as peaceful as individuals and families that comprise it. Science and technology can be used for good for the improvement of human lives when they are utilized by good people. Good people. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Uh, Salija, could you turn on your camera and say a powerful prayer for peace? Uh, you may say in your language or um, or you and uh, you believe because this is a interfaith. Meeting. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What should I say? I didn't understand. Uh, could you say a prayer for peace? You could be in your language, in your faith, and uh, it's interfaith prayer. So please say a powerful prayer uh, for peace. <laughs> uh, oh, my prayers are within only. I don't have anything which I could read out. Or and, and we do morning prayers, and this is post dinner time here in India. Ah, so I prayers see. Prayers okay. happen in so the that, morning. Okay, no problem. Could you say just your vision for peace? What you think that this world is supposed to be for peace? <laughs> Something like. <laughs> this... Acha, the peace for me would be education to everybody, equality and education. When we start respecting each other in whatever we are, may it be our caste, creed, sex, anything with good education we bring in equality by not demeaning anybody we need to bring we, we need to be at par but not to demean anybody we should not bring down when we talk about gender equality we talk about uh, women empowerment nowhere it, i support that we are demeaning men we are just asking for some voice to be heard out and respected if it is not less, it, it, if it is not more, it can be at par. So when we start respecting each other, we I believe peace can be attained because there's nothing else we fight for. Whatever we fight for is only I'm better superiority, more power, more success. <laughs> when we bring down that, I think peace can be achieved. We respect each other. We believe in education. And I think a sound education can bring this change. There's no point just uh, bringing awareness. If they're not educated, no matter what we try to bring in, it doesn't happen. So for me, peace would be to love each other, to be respectful, use kind words, and as much as possible, uh, bring in that giving mentality in each one. That is more important in whatever we have. 
I might not be as rich of as an Ambani out here, but in whatever little I have, if I can give one child a food also, it's good enough. That is peace to me. Yeah, very Thank good. Thank you. I like your manner of education because you know, like some people who are making weapons nowadays, they are very educated. They are scientists. They make weapons, but unfortunately, they supposed to educate, as you said, and love and yeah. <laughs> But yeah, education, they make weapons, but when they're educated, they know how to use the weapons. So we do not use weapons to destroy. Yeah, we use weapons to progress. In, in today's world, there's so much weapons that the people already don't control them. You see that they yeah. weapons control the people. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Thank so then we, yes, for me... Uh, yeah, thank you. Let's uh, invite uh, Preston. He have usually very powerful prayer for peace. <laughs> yeah, hi. Yeah, Preston, could you turn on your sound and camera? Okay, no problem. Um, <coughs> Hi, Preston. Hi. <laughs> okay. Um, you we should do a word of prayer, right? Yes, please say a short, uh, strong prayer for peace as usually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let us pray. Everlasting Father, we thank you for our world. Father, all we ask for is peace. The Bible said, you are the God that make it wars to cease. Therefore, we pray for peace in our world. Let there be peace in the air, in the land, in the sea. Let there be peace in the firmament. We pray for nations. Let there be peace. Let there be peace. Let there be peace. Jesus spoke to this storm and he said, peace be still. We speak the same to every storm, to every raging situation. And we say, peace be still. Speaking to the situations of Russia and Ukraine, we say, peace be still. Let peace reign again. Bible said the heart of a king is in the hands of the Lord. He turneth it wherever he will it. Therefore, we lift the hearts of the leaders of Ukraine and Russia into the hands of the Lord. And we ask, oh God, turn their hearts towards peace. Let them embrace peace. Let peace reign. Thank you, Father. We pray for humanity. We pray for mankind. Let there be love for one another so that peace will reign. Those who are looking for job, those who are looking for life partners, those who are in need of something or the other, Jehovah provided for them so that they will know peace again, so that they will enjoy peace. This we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Preston. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank yeah, you. Thank you. Thank you. Very powerful prayer for peace. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, could uh, let's ask uh, Ahmad Zai to say a prayer for peace. How come no. Irina has not spoken? Irina, you will also say. <clears throat> Uh, could you say one more time? I, 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 I uh, said Honorable Erina is not yet said anything. Will she also say the prayer? Uh, yes, yes, sure. Uh, after. L let's oh. invite Ahmad Zai to say a prayer for peace. Uh, good evening to everybody. Yeah, could you turn on your camera and say a short, uh, a strong prayer for peace <laughs> as we are in this 40 day prayer condition, praying for peace? Yes, uh, actually, I'm not in the right place. That's why I might turn off my camera. Oh, okay, no problem. So, in the world, we are called to have the peace, but the problem is here, we cannot do anything for peace. So, uh, we should struggle for that and we should bring all together 
like uh, nowadays we see fighting in Afghanistan and Ukraine and Russia and other like Somalia and other part of the world. But uh, implementation of the peace is the most important point of the, uh, the people. So we will not uh, uh, be like a food of the politicians. People are like the food of the politician, politician doing their own business on the people. So we call them that we need a peace in all, all the worlds. So that's my message for, thank you. Thank you. Uh, very good. Could you say from which country you are? I'm from Afghanistan. Afghanistan, oh, wow. yeah, very good. And yep. Saija from, uh, uh, she is from uh, India. And uh, okay. Irina from uh, Uganda and Preston. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, thank you. Let's invite now, um, uh, thank you very much. Uh, let's invite now uh, uh, Dr. Irina to say a, a powerful prayer for peace. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Can you say a, a prayer for peace? Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to pray because my background is Christian. So I'll pray through Jesus Christ. Eh? Okay. Yeah. Um, I want to thank God for this moment. I want to thank our creator because he created us for peace. He created us in peace and love. I want to thank our creator for the peace people who are on this program, for Sister Sailaja, Ahmad, and Preston, and Nick, who actually initiated this program of prayer for peace. When Jesus spoke to his disciples, he said, I leave you peace, I leave you peace. So we want to receive that peace from Jesus Christ, and we want it to spread all over the world. We want brotherhood, God, Today we are grateful that you have made us live up to this time. But we know that there are brothers and sisters, mothers and children in Ukraine and Russia who will not make it because of the war. God, our beloved Heavenly Father, we pray that peace may prevail in Ukraine and Russia. At this time, in this era, in this world now, we do not need war. We need peace. We need love. We need unity. Our Heavenly Father, thank you so much. We invoke for peace in this time. And please, we pray that you hear our prayer because Jesus Christ said two or three or four, if they pray sincerely in my name, that Jesus will hear and the will will be done. So we know as we have prayed today, all focused on peace, this will be heard by our Heavenly Father. Thank you for everything. I pray and thank you. In the holy name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, please join my prayer. So, and then we conclude. Uh, dear Heavenly Parent, uh, we are so happy that we meet here, uh, uh, brothers and sisters from um, uh, Asia and Africa. And uh, I'm from Europe, and we unite together. Um, we know that uh, you create us, that we are human beings and all 7 billion uh, people living on the earth, we are one, like one uh, human body. And there is a big pain now, where is the, the conflicts and wars, um, uh, we see it in, in uh, Eastern Europe and the other parts of the uh, globally. And uh, we have our thinking every day we're thinking 90 percent of our time we speak with ourselves and we receive tips from you and we want to uh, understand your tips uh, how we could live together as uh, we meet a um, uh, few people here we are we are on the higher level together with you because you directly meet us here and give, give guidance how to move for, forward in our families communities countries and the world and uh, we pray for other seven billion uh, people, um, brothers and sisters, on globally. The most of them they are suffering because uh, there is not yet heavenly kingdom built. But uh, Messiah's second coming inspires us to build it as soon as possible by 2027. Even 
is big tribulations now, but uh, Jesus said the kingdom of heaven is at hand, and the, it, unfortunately, it's still empty. Not so many people are there. So we um, want to invite all brothers and sisters, everybody there, and that, that also could receive uh, uh, heavenly kingdom citizenship. Uh, and uh, dear heavenly parent, please lead us. Now is big devotion uh, globally in different faiths, like uh, Catholic, uh, Orthodox uh, fasting, and also Muslims have uh, Ramadan. And uh, we, uh, everybody, we are interconnected, and uh, we feel each other. And we, uh, everybody who are fasting now, and uh, me, I'm also fasting. I'm uh, praying that uh, you could uh, receive this uh, uh, offering that. Um, that could uh, bring real peace and, and uh, purify this planet, all the minds of the people um, to purify and unite mind and body in this peace that we could have peace inside us and in our families and the communities and the countries and the whole world. And even in the spiritual world, um, many, many of our ancestors, they went to spiritual world um, with resentment uh, because of the war of other situations. And uh, now uh, in the Messiah second coming time, the many spirits came back and they, they have many, they want to solve all these problems, but uh, all these problems could resolve only by true love. So please lead us, dear Heavenly Parent, that uh, uh, we could uh, um, uh, multiply this true love that we receive from the Messiah second coming, we receive this marriage blessing to pass it to all humankind. Dear Heavenly Parent, uh, we were so happy to meet you here and we bring uh, this uh, day is Saturday, 7th, uh, 9th of uh, April, 2022. We bring it uh, to your altar uh, as a sacrifice, uh, everything what we do as an offering that you could uh, sanctify it and uh, multiply it uh, uh, further. We want to live with you till now with different ages, uh, like uh, uh, with natural age when uh, the um, people was um, mostly uh, take care of, uh, was uh, on the nature and then uh, it came human thinking age and then and now is coming you age when the, all your children could live happily together with you as you uh, designed it before the creation and uh, you will will be done so we pray for uh, cheese fire right now in this uh, hot spots of the planet and uh, lead us everybody each of us everything what we can do we could do we do we are doing we give donation for the people who are suffering we are uh, fasting we are praying we are doing everything with your instruments not that what uh, uh, fallen are using like armaments and uh, weapons that never with uh, the force with weapons never could be would come peace only with you through love so please lead us and give tips, as you said in the Bible, that in less days, there will be many, many uh, visions and the dreams um, about Messiah and coming, about you and uh, about peace, about the uh, heavenly kingdom. So let them be it now, especially to the, those who lead the, the world, the politicians, to stop all these sanctions and, and the fights globally. Please, uh, we pray for them and we pray for all human humanity uh, lead us and receive this uh, short report and my name is nikolai serpala center blessed family adieu amen 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 adieu amen yes thank amen. you very much amen. brothers and sisters that you join uh, that uh, we meet every day with god here at this place <laughs> for 40 day and maybe we will continue <clears throat> and uh, therefore i pray for you i pray for you that uh, you'll stay happy healthy in this difficult time and also uh, god could give you tips uh, uh, whom to meet and uh, what to do and how to develop and prosper because these meetings is of course we pray for world peace but we also pray that everybody could have miracles and uh, um, god could give tips how to prosper and uh, live happily as he intended because uh, god have a plan for each one of us <laughs> Yes, thank you very much. Uh, please turn on thank your camera. You. Uh, say bye bye. <laughs> you could say bye bye in your language. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Tomorrow, same bye, -bye. Time, same place. Bye bye. Stay happy. Bye. Healthy. Thank you for my bye bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye.